Hello, my It is Crushmaster, and welcome. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry about that. If you heard that, that did not go to plan. Unfortunately, my chair likes to get in the way of my fan sometimes. But uh, and uh, now my ah, now my wire's stuck. Okay. Ah, uh, this is not going according to plan. But uh, hello, my It is Crushmaster, and welcome to the Outer Worlds. Yes, mites. This is a different new game I am trying entirely. Uh, along with two other games that are very new and I'm trying entirely that are different um, from the usual stuff. So uh, you thought that uh, if you if you did know of the game I did play about two weeks ago, uh, a new, not similar, it's not like these games I'm uploading, it's a new game. I am currently uploading new stuff on the channel. So I because I, I want to kind of uh, try some new stuff out and see if what you guys like and what you uh, might not like uh, for future uploads but mites just to uh, keep it brief I'm a big fan of the Fallout series you know Fallout uh, the post-apocalyptic robots mutants stuff like that Fallout 1 through 4 as well as 76 and a few other games um, here and there but by the time I know when the one I've actually been playing or well, well play every now and then um, and really and gone into was Fallout 76 now I will admit while I, I I can't I might be a little biased just because I have played 76 but I absolutely do like the game I really really do I couldn't even say I love the game and while I admit that earlier when it started when it came out and even then later on it was kind of glitchy buggy in the servers and blah 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 I have to admit that it has gone a lot better now and the problem is, by the time I kind of had the thought in my head where I'm like, oh, I wish I could play this on the channel, because even though I could have made a new character, I like doing stuff fresh and new, and I really discovered so much, I feel like it would have been just taking away from the experience and the videos. So, might I decide to try to find other games kind of similar to it. Not exactly the same, of course, but very similar with the open world, collecting, exploring uh, feel uh, of a sort. So, um, this is the second one I'm uploading, and this one's the Outer Worlds. Now, I actually did recently um, just look at the trailer and a few other things just to kind of jog my memory, get me a feel of it. And uh, apparently is an Outer Worlds 2 coming at some point. Now, I'm not sure what this means. Um, I'm not sure how long this game is. Depending on how long it is, maybe I'll go to, maybe I'll try to finish this and then do two. Maybe I'll just do this one if you guys aren't a big fan of the series or this video. So let me know in the comments, Mike, because I always appreciate your feedback. But without further ado, let's get our journey started to the outer worlds. All right, here we go. Um, let's keep it at. Let's see, let's go for 88. Good old 88. Alright, let's do that. Oh, or maybe it's a bit too bright. Um, hmm. Well, ooh, okay, so yeah, I know there is some DLC for the game, which I don't have um, at the moment. Peril on Gorgon, as well as Murder on Ered Eridanos. So, I've not played this whatsoever, so we are going to go ahead and try a new game right now. Alright, so normal. This is recommended for your first play session no in normal mode. Enemies have standard health and damage. Hard mode, looking for an extra challenge. More health and do more damage. What's so, boy? Supernova mode is the hardest difficulty and can selected at the start of the game and is recommended for advanced players. It adds additional challenges to the game, such as if you reduce the, re if you reduce the difficulty below Supernova, you cannot re-enable re it. Enemies have more health and do more damage. You must eat, drink, and sleep to survive. Companions can die permanently. Um, crippled body and limb conditions can only be healed with bed rest. Weapon and armor work very poorly at zero durability. You can only fast travel to your ship. You can only sleep inside your ship. You can only manually save while inside your ship and auto saves are limited. So, ooh, the story mode. If you use this, you enjoy the story more than combat. In story mode, enemies have less health and do less damage. I kind of want to do normal mode. But I also would like to do story mode. In story mode, wait. Use this mode if you enjoy story more than combat. I do like combat mods, but I am kind of here to see the story. So 
I think we're gonna go for story just for now, mates. Alright, conversation stuff is yes, show that on. Sometimes we'll be shown for words spoken outside of conversations. I suppose it could be useful. Uh, show something like subtitles with details still not shown in cutscenes or run movies. Uh, keep those on as well. Text size, uh, let's keep it right uh, It goes to 10. So let's keep it at 5. Let's do a 5 for now. Halcyon. Alright, here we go, mate. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Modifying your ad- Okay, mod. so a lot of information really quickly. Uh, I was going to think about talk, but I wasn't exactly sure what was going to happen. So uh, here we go. So we got- Attribute, skill, aptitude, appearance, name, and summary. All right. Uh, modify your attributes to choose what you what you would like to specialize in. Beware, uh, beware. Below average attributes will come with a penalty. Oh dear. <laughs> oh god. Strength effects, melee weapon damage, and amount you can carry. Um. At below least you don't have rickets yet. Let's see. All right. Good so. Good metabolism. Oh. High likelihood of digesting saltuna. I say my strength is fair slash good. Dexterity um, affects melee attack. Uh, my dexterity is, pr I would say, it's fairly good to high. I would Your say. Your quick hands could get you hired by Sublight. Average, int oh, uh, very Your high. Test scores were better than mine, almost. <laughs> oh, perception. Ooh, okay, okay. That's the problem. Finally, so, evidence of intelligent life in Halcyon. So I think I'm gonna put average. Dexterity, uh, I think I'll put good. I want my intelligence to be very, very high, of course. Um, perception. I say average, maybe. Charm. <laughs> it says you had a habit of snarling at people. Okay, uh, no, I do not. Uh, ability, uh, companion, ability, refresh, etc., etc. Uh, temperament. It proves your natural health regeneration. Affected skills to... Handed melee, lie, sneak, medical engineering determination. I would say, I say this is f fair. I would say uh, maybe my perception could be pretty good to an extent. So I always, I always am examining around me. So I think this is fair enough. So here we are. So let's go next. Um, melee. So two points. So range, melee, defense, dialogue, stealth, and tech. Oh wait, 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 there's a few more at the bottom. Uh, tech and leadership. Uh, let's see, so... How do I... I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. Melee, I think I do relatively fine. <laughs> Range, oh, don't get me started on that. D -d -d dialogue, uh, stealth, tech, probably more on the tech side. You wrote that paper on breeding a sissy pig with 30% more tumors. What did he just say? Okay, uh, improves your knowledge of bodies, tools, and the universe. 
it t uh, each point it takes significantly increases medical engineering and science skills up to 50 points each. <laughs> yes, that is definitely me there, Moist. After 50, you can specialize by adding points directly to medical engineering and science. Uh, melee. Increased critical hit chance with handheld weapons. Each move point in melee significantly increases one handed melee. Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right. Seems all good. Uh, aptitude. I have no idea what that means. Cl wait, select the career aptitude that, that your character possesses. Each aptitude corresponds to a small bonus. Uh, Colonists sounded like a nice entry level career for a person of your skills. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious and uh, enough without worrying about your day job. You had to re you had the rest of your life to decide how to be useful and how young. Beverage surface technician. Uh, needs good. Oh, okay. So it's my my position slash job, I assume. Uh, construction like uh, wireless spooner, blah blah blah. Uh, you could be a chatter, a dirt farmer, food additive tester, a lot of stuff. Right here, scientist assistant. You've cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct of what goes in them and why. Maybe you didn't get the get in this business to mop up le the leavings of failed experiments, but that's just part of the job. Even if you can't unsee what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from the six and enjoy some colorful nightmares. Oh uh, yeah, that sounds very accurate if you ask me. Um, probably would have done that. Probably I did do that. Experiments you were subjected to. Wait. You know, maybe you didn't... Scientists... Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, nope, I am indeed a male, right? Uh, yes, I'm pretty sure. 99.9%. .9%. Alright, so let's see. Hmm. Huh. No. Eh. Meh. Maybe. Kind of. Not really. Perhaps. Hmm. What's... What's more likely? Alright, very interesting, very interesting. I gotta act like I'm looking in a mirror. Like a special effect in a way. <laughs> oh boy. Yep, I can definitely see that. Alright, so... Okay. Yep, eye color. Um... Mm. Ooh, <laughs> very interesting here, Mo. It's very, very interesting. So I am trying to do this as fast as I can, just to get a feel for everything as well, uh, just to see. Uh, yep, that should be fine. Uh, let's see. So, brow forward. What does that mean? Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Uh, maybe, maybe just a. Hmm. Uh, no. I would say probably very little. So I'm just gonna do that. Vertical. <laughs> okay, uh, no, probably relatively low. Um, maybe, uh, maybe around here, uh, in the middle. Maybe a little less. Uh, yeah, there we go. I horizontal. Uh, no, 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 definitely not that much. Yep, I size. Uh, fair enough. Uh, I vertical. Uh, should be fine. Jaw vertical, right there. Ha, huh, let's see. So, I would say maybe around here. Mouth size? <laughs> uh, definitely not a big mouth. No, definitely not that. Um, yep, I can see that maybe working. The nose, though. Oh, gotta, gotta, gotta make this nose a little bit uh, different. Let's see, so... Maybe, uh, maybe a bit right here? Uh, actually, no, I think the middle would do not bad. Yeah, definitely more... Not that far, no, not that far. Uh, maybe right there should do it. Uh, the whiff. I think, uh, the middle should do fine as well. And yeah, that seems fine as well. Cheeks, a uh, little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Uh, let me see. So I think uh, right here should do nicely. All right. I think this should do just fine. 
And next is the hair. One of the probably most important features, of course. Uh, hmm, not bad. Eh, could be better, could be worse. Let's see, so many different ones, but which one is it? Definitely not the ladders, no, definitely not. No, 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 no. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. Gotta, maybe with the hair color, it could be a little bit different as well. Ooh, got a bit of a range, not too bad whatsoever. Okay. Wish it, it was more like the color look. You can actually see it to get a better idea, but, uh, you know, gotta work with what you got sometimes. Think it's more towards the end? I believe so. Alright, so. More of a brown? Honestly, I'm going to say the lighting is very, very terrible. It's very, very bad for this kind of thing. Oh man, this is. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna find a blue. I'm just gonna find a shade of blue and be happy with that. Uh, this could work. Hmm, not bad. No, no, no. Well, perhaps. Uh, definitely not. Eh, uh, no, not not exactly. Come on, it's gotta be something, something close enough. And I think this could work fairly well. There we are. Alright, facial hair. I did recently shave, so... It's gonna be a little bit less than usual. Ooh, yes, that that might work. That might just work, but I don't know if it's that much. Hmm. Facial hair color. Yeah, it's gotta it's gotta it's gotta stay natural. I'm never not dying my facial hair, might. I don't know. Let me let me know. Have you known anybody who dyed their facial hair? I have no idea. Hmm. I think this could work out fairly, fairly decent enough. No makeup, no. <laughs> oh, ain't this something? Ain't this something here? Uh, no, I do not wear makeup and don't plan to. Uh, not exactly dirt, no. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it normal. Uh, let's see. Ooh, no, not there yet. Uh, hopefully not anytime soon at the moment. And I think that's fairly enough. Uh, let's just go with Crash. Let's just go with that. There we are. Let me see. Uh, let me go back. Let me just see. Is this how I want to... Is this what I am? Yes, probably. Probably so. Alright, Moit, I think this is good, so let me know how you think my stats are, personally, and please, please try to be kind. Please try to be a little bit nice to me. Come on, I mean, it's me. Just try to be a little nice, alright? Alright, Moit, I think that's about it, so let's go start the game with this character. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump.
Ah, there you are, wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your oh. colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space oh. and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for mm, 70 years, give or take. <sighs> Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death. What? It's really more of a liquefaction. What? Something wrong? What? Oh, yes. <laughs> Not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Uh, <coughs> Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. Oh. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! What? Where? Wait a minute. What? Uh, is something supposed to happen. Wait, wait! Oh, God! <sighs> Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there oh. you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he yeah. should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, uh. so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all of the colonists are counting on you. Uh, yeah, thanks. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh that could have been smoother. Uh, get me out of this thing. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, oh. You've landed good. <sighs> should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. Oh, God. I told him to plant the beacon oh, and move God. away, not stand there oh, holding it. Oh, well. No sense in letting his ship go to waste. Halcyon. They're gonna Hawthorne, land it in Emerald Vale? Ship? Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Oh god. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh god. Oh! Whoa! Okay, gravity's a little different. Okay. What? What just. Seven, did he say 70 years? 70 years. Oh god. Okay. Oh, oh, calm down. What? Yeah. I don't think I'm on Earth anymore. Unless the moon. And something else got very close. I am definitely not on Earth. What is this? Oh god. Oh god, I'm gonna be sick. Oh god. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. I don't have time for this. Don't. Okay. Okay. Oh god. What? Oh. Hey, oh, whoa. I'm okay. Hey, little creature. What are you, uh, up to? Uh, doing stuff? Okay. Okay. Um, my recorder should be on. Uh, the suit should be programmed to have it on at the time of my entry. I thought it was supposed to be like, what, 10 years, right? I think? Not seven? What? What What did he say? He got knocked off course or something? Oh, God. This is, this is so bad. This is really bad. Oh god, I don't know what's going on. My, f my friends. Where? They're probably. Oh god, they're probably all dead. Oh god. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. 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 What's going on? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm on an alien world 
Oh, oh god. Oh. I'm not feeling too good. I don't feel. T Hello? Oh. Okay. What happened? Why are you. What the heck happened? Okay. Uh. While sneaking, use tall grass rocks or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies or sneak on. Wait, use this to, pack s to sneak past enemies or sneak up on them to initiate combat. Okay, not exactly wanting combat. What happened? Morada Thug, according to this. Uh, Morada Thug. What is that? Morada. What does that mean again? Oh, what is that? Tim timid Canid? Canid? Timid Canid. The witness meters over enemies head tell if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Yeah, great, except okay. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh please, no, 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 no. No, please tell me you didn't see me. Okay. Okay. Uh how do I how do I Okay, um uh Armor <sighs> Our rumid ballistics will keep your skin intact. Yeah, I would love that. Armor management. To wear an armor or helmet item, navigate to your item and then select it. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them. Compared to other armor, tag them as junk or drop them. Okay. Uh. Mission suit. Uh, no, I want to keep that on. Definitely need to keep that on. Uh. Yeah, okay. Do I have any, uh. I have my uh, Adreno, not Adrenaline. Did I say Adrenaline? I don't know, Adreno. Um, heals 25% over two seconds, okay? Uh, need to get used to this. Modifications, do I have anything? Uh, do I have something I can use? Uh, no, great. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Whew. Okay, what the? It's a light. Okay, his ship. Uh, hopefully, the ship isn't too far, because uh, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to kind of do this. Might I'm not sure. Very. Uh, oh. 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 Really now, you've been frozen for a while. Oh. Oh. Bound to be unforeseen side effects. Oh. He said he he put some liquid in me, keeping me alive. From some cellular explosion, something. It was all kind of fuzzy. Still, I'm still like what half frozen. Don't think my ears are working properly. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, okay, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. I thought the lower gravity would help me a little bit, but uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. Hey, you, come here. Hey, hey, yeah, sorry. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Hey, you uh, are uh, you alright? What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired, right through my side. I mean. What are the odds of that, right? Oh. Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Hey, um, maybe I can help. Uh, come on, let's get your patch up, alright? Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure, do, do whatever you have to so you know we're not in trouble. Understand. Um. What were? We, what were? We, okay. Okay. First question. Uh, what's this about Marauders? I heard them. This you and now something and my my scanner. What, what's going on? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract Marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here. And I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Uh, nice. Um. Okay. How about you? You're still pretty injured. So, um. Uh. How about I uh get a better? I I got a better idea. Give me your gun. I'll go get help. Yeah. Okay. 
You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some eh. spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, Ugh. you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All spacers' choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacers' choice. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, nailed at that time. Okay, I uh, just, you know, just hold tight, all right? Try to, try to relax, try to breathe. Don't move around too much. Uh, okay, can you by any chance tell me where exactly I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A pretty place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. Uh, alright. Uh, yeah, thanks. Alright, I think I'll be off. Uh, sit tight. And, uh, alright. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's try this puppy out real quick. Okay. Huh, you had quite a bit of ammo. Nice. Huh, what's this? Mag. Alright. Huh. Oh! Ah! Oh, what had just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This. Phineas? Phineas! Damn it! Yeah, the one guy who apparently knows what's exactly might might be going on with me, and uh, I have no idea what to do now. No! Uh, uh, hibernation complete complications detected. Tactical time dilation due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation. Your brain processes time differently. Oh, it always does that. I guess in this time, I guess it just made it worse. Pressing the tactical time dilation TD button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TDD meter very slowly. While moving and attacks drain it faster, the TDD meter refreshes slowly over time. Tactical time dilation. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna rest here for a bit. I'm just gonna. You know, rest here for a little bit, real quick. Of, uh, Mr. Pelham here. So, uh, anyways, mods, hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Uh, really do appreciate it if you did check this out. Um, um, like, I'm gonna admit, this is a very, very interesting premise. It's, it's really, really giving me the Fallout sort of vibes as well, like I was looking for. Um, hopefully it'll continue to kind of give me that, or it doesn't need to be the exact same, can be a little different, but hopefully it gives me, like, some of the stuff I was really looking for on this. So, hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe, and if you want to see it, see more of this, leave a comment below, let me know what you think about it. If you don't want to really like it that much, it's okay, just leave a comment, I'll accept any criticism as long as it's respectable. And, uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell, just in case, if I do upload another video on this, and I will see you all later. <sighs> later, boys!